Hi everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Today I'm really excited to talk to you guys about the Barletta uh, Cabrio 20UC. So this is a 20 foot model from Barletta. And this is a really cool boat because it kind of has all of the Barletta kind of cool features, including that ultra lounger, which they're known for, but in a 20 foot configuration. So um, a lot of times the, the cooler features and some of the unique stuff that happens on pontoon boats, you kind of get into have to get into the bigger sizes. But on this particular boat, we see a lot of premium features. We see that ultra lounger in a 20 foot package. And for those of you who have a 20 foot lake restriction, this is a tidal boat at 20 feet. Um, so that's a, a good positive too. Um, this particular boat is set up with the uh, Tritune package from Barletta and the Mercury 150 horsepower. So really an awesome, awesome power setup for somebody who's looking for the smaller boat, they want a little bit of power, they want to be able to do some, some tubing or some skiing with the family, uh, but they don't necessarily need a 22 or 24 footer. So this Cabrio, as we get inside, we're, we're going to see all those all the benefits and really how Barletta does a great job of making this boat feel bigger than a 20 foot boat. Um, while we're out here, I'm going to point out a couple things. Um, you know, just uh, Barletta is a premium brand, you know, um, this is uh, the Cabrio series, which is, uh, you know, kind of that kind of middle upper tier of the market. It's not the, the bottom, it's not the top, it's kind of that middle upper from Barletta. And a couple of cool things with the rail extrusions we have, just to kind of create that style line, we see a, you know, more of a, you know, all, actually there's two different rails. You see this one here that's got a lot more texture to it, a little simpler rail here. We've got the vertical rail on here as well. Um, and then we also see while most companies right now, including Barletta, a lot of boats you see out there have the dark black fencing rails. Um, this is kind of cool because it's got the new Pacific blue. It's got the uh, the white diamond um, and kind of a kind of a really, I don't say a fresh, but a, a clean look to the boat from an aesthetic perspective with some lighter colors, which is kind of unique to this this boat exactly. But obviously, you know, this boat and others are available in the other other colors as well, but I just like to point this out because it is a little bit unique and different compared to what most of the pontoons you see out there. Okay, so before we get into the features of this specific uh, Barletta, um, this is kind of a broken record if you've seen other Barletta videos from us. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the crazy amount of standard features that this boat has, but this boat has probably five, six, seven thousand dollars worth of standard features that you're not going to find on most other boats in this category. You know, one being the power bimini top, which is normally, you know, maybe a two thousand dollar upgrade, you know, but things like stainless steel flip up cleats, docking lights, um, you know, ski tow bar, uh, ski lockers, you know, stainless steel boarding ladders, extended rear uh, swim platforms. So all that is, is standard and, and that's just a small portion of the list. There's all kinds of other stuff. Um, Barletta makes it simple. Everything that you really need on the boat comes standard. So uh, talk a little bit about the transom here. Um, we've got, again, we talked about how this is a 20 foot boat. Anybody who gets into this boat, it, it feels and, and really it feels more like a 22 to 23 footer. We've got this extended rear deck, um, which Barletta is known for on here. You know, the tube length is 20 feet. It ends right here about where the ski tow bar is. And then we've got the extended rear deck that gives you a little bit more space for the kids to jump on and off the boat. You know, you to get on and off the boat um, for, from the dock for perspective. Uh, but then we also see, um, again, we talked about how we have a heavy, heavy duty ladder, heavy duty uh, ski tow bar. We've got the direct fill fuel tank, so you can fill the fuel from either side of the um, either side of the boat pretty easily. Um, and then, of course, the Mercury 150 horsepower uh, engine uh, on this Tritune setup as well. Um, when we move inside and really talk about the layout of the boat, the key feature here is going to be the ultra lounger. Okay, um, again, this is a 20-foot pontoon, and uh, this particular boat, we've got two extra speakers here on the back, so if you're listening to music, anybody who's back in the transom area can uh, hear it. Um, and then we talk about this ultra lounger, which is a, a really cool seating configuration. So I can sit facing backwards here if I'm watching the kids, um, you know, they're just swimming off the back, the boat's not underway, I can um, swim, you know, sit right here and have a good seat. I can flip this seat forward and have a kind of a full layout lounger, you know, facing forward, okay? I can actually drop it all the way back to create a full bed, okay, which is pretty cool. And then beyond that, I can actually kind of reverse everything and we, we can adjust this seat up and actually have a rear facing lounger. We can have that seat sit like that. We can do one on one side, one on the other. We can actually pop up this seat, have this seat facing forward, so there's all kinds of different possibilities and how you adjust. You can have one guy facing forward, somebody facing backwards, um, and it's really, really versatile seating 
uh, which is what Barletta is known for. And being able to get this mechanism into a 20-foot boat is awesome. Um, on the 22 and the 24-foot UC models, um, this piece is a little wider, okay? But on the 20-footer, they're able to still get, get it in. It's just a slightly narrower piece configuration um, to be able to fit it onto a 21-foot boat, their 20-foot boat, um, you know, but it still gives you all the features that you're known for with this ultra lounger. Okay, we moved into the middle section of the cockpit of this 20-foot uh, cabrio. Um, I'm sitting kind of in the co-captain's chair right here. This is kind of a popular configuration these days, um, you know, having kind of a captain co-captain. We do have a couple cup holders over here, a phone holder, a USB charger on this side for this person. Uh, they also really like the um, flip-up table that actually comes out of the furniture right here. You know, so it's great for kind of a serving area. You get some food out or whatever. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's not sitting right in the middle of the boat, so you can, you know, people can still walk around and socialize. And, you know, it's kind of a, a really well-designed piece here um, that, that lines in with the rest of the upholstery, but just has a nice little, nice little piece that the Barletta adds to the, the Cabrio series. Um, since we do our, we are in a tri-tune, we do see a, a full uh, center ski locker, a heavy-duty ski locker. That's a full-length pontoon tube there. You know, Barletta does everything kind of heavy duty and premium, you know, so nothing there. A lot of times on 20 foot pontoons, you aren't going to have a ski locker option from some brands, you know, but Barletta has that included on this uh, Cabrio 20. Uh, we move over to the dash, and this is one of my favorite parts of the boat. Uh, and this is a brand new dash on a Cabrio for 2023. So this, this has been upgraded from the prior year's model. So, um, you know, we kind of, you know, one of the things that when Barletta came out several, you know, about five years ago, uh, you know, they had the Lusso, and the Lusso had this beautiful console. And, and this, to be honest, looks a lot like, you know, that original Lusso console. Um, you know, really, really streamlined, looks almost like a cockpit for a fighter jet or something like that. So, um, you know, just a, but being able to do that kind of on this Cabrio series and having that cool look um, uh, and that cool uh, ergonomics is, is pretty awesome. We also see that this boat now has a raised helm platform, you know, so we're gonna be raised a few inches off the floor you know, for a little bit better visibility um, around the boat, um, around docks or whatever. So we see that our instrumentation with our digital display on the left. We see a GPS fish finder uh, unit on the right, uh, as well as your Bluetooth stereo system. Um, and, you know, this is the only 20-foot boat out there that I'm aware of that has a uh, six-speaker stereo system because of the two that we have in the back. We've got a wireless phone charger here, plenty of legroom for myself, obviously an adjustable seat, an adjustable uh, uh, height driver's chair as well. Um, nice conveniently located throttle control for our motor. Um, and then, you know, things like the engine start as well as the power bimini is controlled here off to the right. So just an awesome console. Um, you know, really, you know, I, I see a lot of boats that are $100,000 plus that don't have a console anywhere near as cool looking as this. So, um, so Barletta did an awesome job with that. And basically what they did was, you know, they took their Lusso console and say, okay, how do we like, you know, make this console kind of similar but obviously we got to drive the cost down a little bit because this is a much lower priced boat um, and I think they did a great job. Okay so we move into the bow. Um, first thing I always got to mention on the Barletta is the little doggy dish which came on their first boat and has been a popular um, feature that's included in all Barlettas. Um, it's just really well thought out a normal dead space in the boat that they add that. Um, you know, one of the things I always liked that, you know, something that they innovated, actually, I believe somebody at the factory came up with this idea of having this removable cup holder, you know, just having a little piece there. This obviously can be moved in the furniture like you see on the starboard side over there, but you also can put it right here, you know, keep it away from the furniture if you want to maximize your seating. So kind of a well thought out design there. Um, up in the bow, uh, you know, we've got flip down armrests, real comfortable, you know, even myself who's a little bit taller. I can lay out with my feet fully extended on both sides of the bow up here. Um, so uh, this boat's rated for up to 11 people. So for a 20 footer, that's, that's pretty, pretty healthy. Um, you know, one of the things that I didn't talk about too much, but you know, something that I can't really describe to you real well, um, you have to kind of experience it yourself, is sitting inside the Barletta furniture. You know, the height of the furniture inside the boat, you know, the, the, the softness of it, but yet the durable feel just the, the people who get into the boat, they feel the upholstery, they touch it. You know, when we first became a dealer before they'd even built a boat, we, we sat into a, a sample of a, a seat and, and that was what kind of drew us to the Barletta was, you know, they're doing a great, great job on the upholstery of the boat. So um, in summary, 
20 foot cabrio you see um, you know great value for a 20 footer it's a premium 20 footer for sure um, so if you want something if you're limited on a, on a lake size you want something that's really nice you want that cool ultra lounger seating configuration you know but again the boat feels a lot bigger than 20 feet um, plenty of power with 150 horsepower um, you know it's, it's, it's a great boat so thanks again for checking out uh, this boat with us at Buckeye Sports Center for more information of your inventory visit our website BuckeyeSportsCenter.com check out our YouTube page where we post all kinds of videos on Barletta as well as other brands as, as well um, so thanks again for watching we'll see you on the water mm -hmm.